Hey, what's going on guys? So I want to make a follow-up video to a uh, NVIDIA control settings, best settings that I did about a month ago and I actually did fairly well. And there was a lot of questions on there, specifically around the same setups uh, that people had compared to me. I have a 144 Hertz monitor, a G-Sync monitor. Uh, what do the settings look like if you want, you know, the best G-Sync, maybe V-Sync settings. So I talked about that in the last one. I want to talk a couple things specifically because over the last month, I've done so much research on looking at blur busters, looking at other forms forums online to figure out what was the best for competitive. I want to be competitive in Fortnite, meaning no input lag. I don't want to have input lag. And Blur Busters really solves that and uh, answers a lot of questions. But you also want the game to look good. And I felt like my game was just lacking on quality of looking good. Uh, so I want to show you at the end of the video, stick around what I'm currently using for my settings and what is perfect for me right now. I found it. I'm not going to move away from it for a while unless I want to go back to the, the G-Sync, V-Sync, try that out again, but might be a hint is what I'm doing. But let's go over into uh, some quick things you can do to optimize the PC and make it perform way better and look at my NVIDIA control panel again to go over those settings and answer some of the questions that we had in the last video. So let's go check it out. So I'll go through this pretty quickly, so uh, hopefully you can keep up. But on your desktop, what, you fr what you're going to want to do is make sure your computer is up to date. So just check for updates. Uh, type in updates in the search bar in the bottom left hand corner and then go check for updates that button right there It should update it if you're not up to date uh, I think it should do it automatically, but possibly not make sure you're up to date is my point and then going into your GeForce experience app And then just making sure that your drivers are up to date so that again click on your drivers tab Check for updates and then it will tell you you have the latest GeForce game uh, ready driver. So for me right now, it's uh, 442.50 is the latest driver. Another quick thing that I can show you that uh, I looked online and also helped just to optimize your PC. So if you go into your little Windows button there and go to documents, uh, scroll on down to your C drive, right click it and then click properties. Right down here it will say disk cleanup. Clicking that and then you can select what you want to clean up. So temporary internet files is the big key here. Making sure that's selected. Uh, scrolling down, looking at, you know, even temporary files. You might want to check that. Uh, downloads is the only one that you might not want to to do if you have some downloads that you don't want to get rid of it. So anyways, hit OK. That'll clean that up. Uh, good to go there. Uh, before I get into the NVIDIA settings, the one thing that drove me nuts and I can't believe I had it on this entire time. It actually is feels way better my game feels so much smoother is game bar so the xbox game bar uh, on pc so if you just type in game mode settings it'll pop this up game mode i have on and that is if you have i believe the latest windows updates that one you might want to do a little research on i have it on because it was suggested i think through a jerian video or something i watched to have that on if you have a, a latest update uh but for me i have it on if we go down to game bar this thing i had on forever and until recently I uncovered, I turned it off. My game feels way better, looks better. And it might, maybe it's a placebo for me, but I turned it off and I read online, there's not too much on it, but I read online that they used to cause a lot of issues with games. I don't know if it does so much now, but for me turning it off, my game felt faster. I felt more responsive. I felt like the input delay was way less and it just looked cleaner. So. Again, that might just be me, but turn that off, play around with it, uh, and just see if that might benefit you. So some quick tips there for you. Let's hop over into the NVIDIA settings, and I'm gonna show you, we'll go through uh, what I've found to be the best for me. Okay, so in my NVIDIA settings, in my last video, very similar. I'm not gonna go through each and every one, but what I'll do instead is just kind of scroll down here. So that way you can follow and just copy what I have. And this is pretty standard. There's so many videos out there that have these exact same settings for Fortnite. But again, I'll, I'll slowly scroll through it, maybe even zoom in on the video so that way you see it and you can pause it. What I wanted to talk about specifically, I didn't get into the last one, but after doing more research, there's a couple things here. The low latency mode, that you should have to off. And I know there's videos out there that say you should have that on. My last video, I said you, ha you should have it on ultra. Well, that can be fine and it will it'll probably play fine, but you should have it to off if your GPU is not being maxed out or the load is not 99 um, and you can tell by you know a lot of different software out there I think MSI Afterburner has an overlay when you're playing a game or NZXT cam for my case has a, a overlay to show if my uh, GPU is being maxed out Fortnite is a very CPU driven game uh, so I would doubt it's getting maxed out unless then you're, you're on an old computer so have that off Otherwise, you're actually going to get input delay. So I didn't know that last time. You're actually going to have input delay a little bit through your game if you have that on on or ultra and your GPU is not being maxed out. So that's a key thing. Uh, frame rate, G-Sync, V-Sync. So if you have a G-Sync monitor, this is what I played around with. I actually turned mine off because I feel like 
I don't have an input delay with it off. This goes back to blurbusters.com. You can do this and it will be fine. You can max it out, let's say on 144 hertz monitor. You can max it out at 141. You can also, you know, just leave it that way and then copy all the other settings. You can also go down here and turn on vertical sync and I'll explain why. Your game will look amazing. It seriously looked amazing for me, like just butter. It looks so good. If we go over to Blur Busters, and let's see if I can scroll this over here for you. So on Blur Busters website, specifically this chart right here, it talks about having G-Sync, V-Sync off, uh, the bottom one on that chart. Talks about having G-Sync plus V-Sync off and capping your frames at 142 on each one of these scenarios. And then the top one is G-Sync plus V-Sync in the NVIDIA control panel that I showed you, also capping it at 142. The input delay is one millisecond higher than the other two. And you're saying, well, that's that's not much. Well, I'm sorry, it's one millisecond higher than the middle option. It's two milliseconds higher than just having it off. So you're actually gonna get a little bit more input delay having that on. Also, I've seen online that if you're using the NVIDIA Max frame Rate, which is this that can also add input delay so input delay meaning that when you click your mouse button it how fast how responsive is it to the actual game Fortnite, if you're trying to be competitive you want it to be fast you want it you want to be able to you know edit and shoot and all that stuff quickly over the last month of playing around with this i could tell there was input delay on my 144 hertz monitor as awesome as the game looked i could tell that there was input delay so that's why i've gone back uh to having my max frame rate off turning uh vertical sync off and then in my in-game settings let's go back to the in-game and i'll show you what i do for those settings all right guys let's look at the in-game settings and uh this this shouldn't be anything too new to you might have one recommendation for you uh but looking at my frame rate again back to my setup 144 hertz monitor i have it capped at 160 uh it's out there it's been out there that it just plays better it might help with uh any hitches or frame drops capping it one tier above your max uh, monitor refresh rate. We're going to skip some of these things because it's pretty generic. Uh, graphics quality, it's really up to you, but I think everyone knows you should probably have this on low uh, and then crank up your 3D resolution to 100. And then down below, advanced graphics settings, V-Sync, never have that on in the game. That would cause more input delay. Motion blur, obviously off. Uh, frames per second, you can have it on. DirectX version. DirectX 12, I tried it. It's been very buggy for me, so I'm, I'm using 11, uh, and it just works better, I believe. Uh, I know Booga and some of those guys use DirectX 11, specifically around the NVIDIA control panel settings. Some of those things, I think, just work better with uh, DirectX 11. But to finish it off, use GPU crash debugging. Just have that off. If you have that on, it's going to uh, give some performance costs, so no need to have that on. The only other thing I noticed on here, really probably not that crucial, but if you scroll down in the second tab up here all the way down, NVIDIA highlights, I turn that off and that goes back to that game bar that I recommended that you go in and change my computer, my gameplay drastically. I uh, just have that off so nothing's recording in the background for any wins or kills. Specifically, if not using it, uh, then, then why even have it? If you turn off that game bar uh, in the settings like I showed you, I think that should take care of it. Well, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video and if you're copying these settings, let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate the support. Shout out to anybody using my code, creator code Long Johns in the item shop. That means a lot to me. And last but not least, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the support, everyone, and until next time, we'll see you out there.